Hi everybody, it's me again, well, another one of my videos. This time we're going to be working on a 2005 Reno Space. The car came to me with that uh, problem over there. If I release the parking brake, which I'm going to do now, you're going to see the, the fault goes away. As soon as I push the parking brake again, the fault comes on. Uh, the owner said that the he reckons the parking brake uh, unit has been changed, uh, in, and and it might be why that fault is coming up. So with that in mind. We're going to scan the car and we're going to check first if the parking brake unit has actually been changed and then we're going to see why uh, that error is coming up. I'm not going to use the DS708 today uh, for the simple reason that uh, I'm sure I'm going to get right first time if I use clip other than the DS708. I'm not even sure if the DS708 is capable of this uh, of this so we're gonna use clip uh, it's all connected so I'm gonna load the software Okay, so on the main menu we're gonna load the VIN. I'm gonna skip this because <coughs> usually it takes a little while to do this, so... Right, all the details have been loaded. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a RO. RO stands for repair order. You can put any number on. So... And we do computer test. It's gonna now check through every single ECU in the car. Once again, this takes a little while, so we're gonna skip this. So, all the ECUs have been scanned now. That brings us to this page. This shows you the map of the network on a car, including all the ECUs and and everything. Now what we're gonna do is we press next here. That roughly shows you all the issues that are fitted on the car and issues that are not fitted in the car. So press next or continue. And that brings us to here. So on this page it shows you uh, all these issues that have faults which is most of them well all of them apart from the air conditioning and the first thing we're going to do obviously we are interested on this parking brake that is what we want but before we move on we're going to actually check if that's been if the, that ECU has actually been changed so we press that and that brings me all the ECUs that contain the VIN number on it and if we look, parking brake is the the one at the top, um, at the bottom, sorry. And if we come along, you can actually see is the only ECU with uh, a different VIN number. So that tells me the ECU has been replaced and uh, with a second-hand one. If it was a brand new one, that would be empty, or would have been loaded with the the correct VIN number, so that that tells me that has been actually changed. So the guy was right. So what we need to do next is check what is the code on the ICU. So we select this ECU in there and we press continue. That brings us to here. 
and that shows me I have three stored faults and one present present fault so let's gonna see what faults are they now on this screen everything that is blinking is the stored faults the one showing in red is the present fault and that is the fault that is actually bringing that uh, that fault in there that service so let's gonna see what that is and that says auto transmission multiplexed emission missing so what that means is is that the, the, the ECU is now getting the signal from the automatic transmission that obviously explains everything because this is a manual so what we're gonna have to do is we have to reconfigure the settings in the ECU to do that I'll press this little symbol in there repair mode that brings us to here the configurations the ones we want to change they're gonna be here and we're gonna press computer calibration and operation now right at the bottom you're gonna see everything that you can actually change within the ECU try to focus this right okay there we go so vehicle type that is a uh, space long engine type that is the F9Q as you might saw on the first screen steering wheel position this is on the uh, sorry gearbox type first gearbox type is the PK6 as also shows you on the first screen steering wheel position is on the right equipment level but equipment equipment level you can check this on your uh, sticker by the door I'm going to show you where it says what is the equipment level so if you come here as you're going to see in there E2 so that's the number we need to put in so with the E2 and now we're gonna press next and what we're gonna do is we're gonna validate and we do click next again and there's a warning message here saying before activating this command you might check that the brake cables are I feel no one is working the vehicle not when the command is run parking brake do you want to continue so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the foot brake I'm gonna press yes and I can hear the parking brake releasing we're gonna press next again slope value minus three it's fine validate that I'm gonna do next I'm gonna do validating and we're gonna do finish so that's done what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the parking brake is now pushed as you can see it's off so we're gonna push the brake we're gonna see if there's any brake any faults now as you can see there's no faults I'm gonna release again it's off on no more faults What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go into the ECU again 
we're gonna clear all the folds okay there you go no folds present or stored and we're gonna go in repair mode again just to see if I'm able to change the VIN I doubt I'm able to because there we go it tells you this so I can't put the VIN on the only way to actually write the VIN again would be by reprogram the the wall ECU and then obviously that would allow me to reprogram the VIN to be honest with you, the, the 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 car will work just fine, even with the wrong VIN number. So I'm not really bothered with that. And uh, guys, I hope somehow this has been helpful. And uh, once again, thank you, thank you for watching.